Over three years ago, St. Patrick Church caught fire and closed, devastating the community. Today, for the first time, the Youngstown Diocese held mass inside. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier was there and spoke to those in the parish about the long journey to reopening. Just a few moments ago, we each did something that we have not been able to do in this space for three years. We crossed the threshold and entered this church. Sunday marked a momentous mass for St. Patrick Church in Humbert, and every single pew was full as hundreds in the community gathered to celebrate the church's reopening after the fire three years ago that destroyed the church and caused millions of dollars in damages. Father Michael Swires has led the parish through it all. It means so much to so many people that are here. We've waited a long time and, you know, we were faced with many uh, difficulties and delays, but now the time has come for us to come together today. Bishop David Bonner led the church through mass and blessed those in attendance and as he did acknowledge the firefighters who risked their lives on January 18th, 2021 to save the heart of the church, the tabernacle. Fred Benke was one of the firefighters who slid it across a ladder on top of a collapsing floor. I knew that, you know, what it meant to the church, what it meant to the people, what it meant to me. It's very emotional. The church's reopening is even more special to him because he and his family are active parishioners at St. Patrick Church. It's, it's very nice to have all the community back. Um, you know, once once the church wasn't there, we didn't know what we were going to do. Jay Crafton is a parishioner and was one of many church members that was there the night of the fire outside watching their beloved church burn. He's also one of the architects that helped rebuild and says it's been incredibly meaningful to watch the journey come full circle. The night of the fire was scary and we weren't sure well, what the next step was. Um, since then, and, and getting engaged with uh, the rebuilding, it has become a labor of love and respect. In Hubbard, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.